All right, welcome back, everybody. Here we are. It's good to be back. It's been a few weeks for me. Yeah. Good to see you. Back from vacation, looking tan, <laughs> Hawaiian shirts. It's good to have you back in the office. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> All right, we've got a very fun topic today, as always. Sure we do. Ask us anything, write us a comment, shoot us an email, give us a call. We'll answer it all for you. What is today's topic? We are talking about everything you need to know about solar panel warranties. It's a good topic. It is a good topic. There's a lot to know. There is a lot to know. A lot of different panel manufacturers out there and a lot of little nuances within the warranties themselves. So we will do a deep dive. Yeah, a little different language, different ways of saying and selling things. So it can be confusing, for sure. Absolutely. Deep dive number 78. Wow. Okay, so this is a little bit separate of the panel manufacturer's warranty, but definitely a talking point as you're talking about warranties. Workmanship warranty, what is that? It's basically the installer's work, whoever's installing your solar panels. If you have a defective solar panel, we'll get into that later. It's not going to be covered under the workmanship warranty. The workmanship warranty is basically going to cover the work. Yep. So the, the construction element, the construction project of your home, I believe in California, installers are required to have a 10-year I think you're right. Yeah. I've never seen it under 10 years. I don't know yeah. if it's a requirement or just kind of a market norm, but right. yeah, yeah 10, we, 10 is the minimum. In some other states, you'll see as low as five. Uh, you're not going to see anything higher than 25, and you know, that's how long your solar panels will get to how long they're warranted yep. for. Uh, but yeah, this is going to cover the installer's work, making sure that the roof penetrations are done well, the installation was done up to code, right. all of that kind of stuff. Absolutely. So yeah, 10 to 25 is pretty standard. We see a lot of 25-year workmanship warranties out here in California, sure. East Coast, definitely more 10 years. More 10. Yeah. Not many installers that have a 25-year. There are a few, yeah. but 10 is, 10 is the norm. Okay, and then we're going to get into a little delay here. Okay, so yes, so manufacturer's warranties. Now, these are going to be coming from the manufacturers, so you're manufacturers of the actual solar panels. There's a ton of different brands out there and they can vary from each uh, from each brand. So there is a power warranty from the manufacturer and then there's also a product warranty. Maybe get in a little bit of, of that right there. This is where it gets confusing. <laughs> this is where it gets confusing. Yes. So I guess manufacturer's warranty. So what we're talking about here, a lot of times it's called the product warranty. So this is the physical product of the panel. If you the had hardware. A, the hardware, yeah. So if you had a panel that got shipped over to you and you know it's dented or something's not wired correctly, anything like that, that's your product warranty. Typically, that's going to be 10 years. Although, and I, we may be discussing it later in this, but there are manufacturers now that have a 25-year product warranty as well. But typically, it's a 10-year product yeah. warranty. And also, typically should know within 10 days. <laughs> you're going to know. Yeah, if something's physically wrong with the panel, yeah. you're going to know, we've especially gone, with monitoring yeah, systems. Yes, we've gone through it before. There's not a lot of moving parts. Things don't tend to break after the fact. Right. So if it's broken, it'll likely be broken Yep. once you turn your system on, unless you got a little kid throwing baseballs up there. It's, <laughs> well, <laughs> that's not going to be covered, unfortunately. Yeah, fair, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> we actually did have a customer. Um, this is actually one of my old clients that I was talking to last week. Lives next to a golf course. Ooh, a couple of duck hooks, and he's got some dents in his panels. I might have to own up to that. Yeah, so that is certain things that would not be covered under the manufacturer's warranty. I think we'll get yeah. into this a little bit. That may be covered under a homeowner's warranty policy, or homeowner's insurance, I should say. You should get one if you live next to a golf course. Absolutely. But yeah, we are helping that gentleman out. Okay, so that's the manufacturer's warranties, which are typically 10 years. The power warranty. We may need some new batteries in this bad boy here. All right, so performance warranty. Um, a lot of times this is interchangeably used as a performance guarantee, which is typically, I guess, 20 to 25. I always see them at 25 years. How about you? Yeah, 25 for pretty much everything we see. Uh, I, I do believe there are some out there that still do 20, but I think industry standards just 25. Right. As I mean, and, and again, you're not I, – I, I don't really see – any reason why a panel would change its degradation too drastically between right. years 20 and 25. Sure. So even with the 20 year warranty, you're probably in decent shape. Right. So what this means, this is essentially relating to the degradation of your panels. So depending on the manufacturer, there is a certain percentage that each year 
the panels will degrade. They're expected to degrade. You know, when you're looking at your uh, financial analysis before purchasing a system, these factors should be taken into account because they are measurable. Uh, but these are guaranteed for 25 years. So after the 25 years, there should be a certain percentage of the power they're producing that's still going to be at that you know guaranteed level. Right, and this is this is a little bit tricky to diagnose because some installers will offer and some companies will offer a production guarantee, mm -hmm. which you would think is the same. It's not. Yep. Uh, production is going to have a million different factors, and that is the kilowatt hours, right? But the performance is just the degradation of the panel. Right. So for you, you know. John Smith, the homeowner, very hard to diagnose degradation. Mm -hmm. Lowered performance or abnormal lowered performance might be a sign of degradation. Sure. But you're you're going to have it's not going to be easy for you to diagnose sure. if it's you know outside of that range. That's going to be something you need a sound right. tech to come out and do because yep. it isn't power. And we've seen it a lot where people come to us asking for that 25 year production guarantee. Yeah. And we're saying, well, show us what you're working with, it turns out it's a performance warranty. So these things, right. whether intentionally or not, yeah, yes. right. whether intentionally or not, they get confused very, very easily. So I think it's important to understand it right. is not your kilowatt hours. Right. And it we'll, we'll get into, I know there's a, a slide later on where we actually will talk about the production guarantee, but performance warranty or performance guarantee, that is what's coming from the manufacturer. Correct. And that's just ensuring that their products do not degrade a set percentage year over year for 25 years. Okay, so here we go. So this is a, I would say this is more of a general chart. I know depending on you know the kind of sun power panel that you have, the kind of Panasonic or LG, these performance guarantees, they are gonna be sometimes higher in certain cases. I believe sun power um, has some that are up to upwards of 93% now. Um, LG catching up as well. So this is just kind of a general chart here. I would think it's somewhat in order, although I think LG may has, have less degradation than Panasonic at this stage, but this is just giving you kind of an overview of, you know, after the 25 years, what are my panels going to be producing? Right. And I think what's what's super important about this as well is this is what they're guaranteed to do. Right. 92% after 25 years is still a pretty darn good panel, right. in my That's, opinion. Yeah, And, you know, it's sure. not going to stop producing power at 25 years. Yep. So long as you buy it, if you lease it, you might have to yeah, <laughs> gotta, yeah, yeah. sort that out. You yeah. gotta re-up. But if you're buying that, you're not gonna face that sort of an issue. So if that's something that's important to you, longevity is important to you, it's your forever home, you wanna pass it down to your sure. kids, whatever it may be, you know, you might want to opt for something that's gonna continue to produce yeah. year over year over year over year. Absolutely. Definitely a lot more of a long term investment. You won't right see anything under eighty. That's kind of the low mark. Yes. That's kind of I'd say even mark. probably eighty three. It's, it's really nothing. It's sure it's come up, yeah. Right. But it would be I mean, I'd, I'd say the largest I've seen is a 3% degradation out of the box, so 97% mm -hmm. out of the box, and then 0.7 year over year, which yep. gets you right around 80% yep. after 25. For sure. So here's our homeowner's insurance. So, you know, systems included under homeowner's and policy, it's, it's typically covered, the solar system. Um, check with your homeowner's insurance. Uh, but, of course. You know, typically uh, we, we do see that that is something that's covered. Um, hazards that could be covered would be water damage, wind storms, lightning, kind of these acts of God. I don't see golf balls on here. No, that would that would be uh, <laughs> specific to your. It's possible though. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you're living next to it, you, you could yeah. probably toss it in there. But <laughs> watch out for the old Crowley slice. You, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, I've, I've seen it. It's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, here, <laughs> yeah, go on, I'm not good there. <laughs> let's not talk about your golf game. It's not pretty. Um, production guarantees. So this is what we were talking about. So these sometimes can get confused. Um, you know, if a solar salesman is talking to you about you know, performance warranties or whatever it is, distinguish whether that's coming from the manufacturer or the actual installer. A production guarantee is gonna come from your installer. What does that mean? It, largely it means they are gonna guarantee a certain percentage of the production you're contracted for. So to make this easy, if you're producing or you're contracted to produce 10,000 kilowatt hours on a year, yep. they will say we guarantee you're gonna produce 95%, 90, 95% usually the range of dollars. Mm, it's pretty high, that's where we do, but that's, that's pretty high. Usually between, I would say, 80 and 90%. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so not really a guarantee. <laughs> um, right. But yeah, in any case, uh, then let's say 95%, we'll use ours for, uh, for an example. Yep. You end up producing 9,400 kilowatt hours. They're actually gonna compensate you for the difference at the retail yep. rate. Uh, if you produce 
9550, that's within that range. You'd not be compensated for something like right. that. There are weather patterns. There are, you know, some things that are tougher to predict as far as you know soiling and, and things like that. Yep. Um, so there, there. That's why that buffer is there. That if somebody says they're going to give you 100% production guarantee, I would hazard a guess they're probably discounting your production out of the gate. There, yeah, they're probably low ball on the initial but, estimate. You know, you never know. Um, and, and, and look, it's a, it's an assurance that some people definitely really gravitate towards. Sure. So, um, but yeah, just just be aware that that's. Most people will, will, with a production guarantee, pay you at the retail rate. Right. That's the principle behind production guarantee saying, we didn't give you what we said we were going to give you, therefore we're going to give you that monetary credit that you were expecting. Right. I don't, I mean, have it, I, it could be possible to give you the, a smaller rate than the retail rate, but yeah, I don't think so, I've seen well, that. Well, I mean, you, you would, e each company that's going to offer a production guarantee, there's going to be some language with that. So you want to sure. look at what is the percentage that they're offering me and what's the payout. There should be actually a... And summer, the years. Some are like after three years, correct. after 10 years, things yep. like that. That's correct. But yeah, Not so look year. at percentage, the duration, you know, how long is this production guarantee uh, for, and what is the rate that they're going to reimburse me if the system produces less than they told me? Are they going to give me 15 cents a kilowatt hour under that? Is it 20 cents to, to look into that? Because um, obviously each production guarantee, you know, they're not, they're definitely not all the same. Most companies don't offer them. Um, you know, they, they may claim to have this production kind of safety guard, that's what we're talking about previously, mm -hmm. is that manufacturer's uh, performance warranty about the degradation, but not actually paying you out, sending you a check, if that system does not produce what they told you it was gonna produce. Right. So multiple layers of coverage for your system. We've gone through quite a few here. Just kind of a recap here. You got you know, the workmanship warranty, that's covering any you know actual problems with the installation, you know, roof penetrations or you know panels are not level, whatever it may be. That's covered under the workmanship. You got your manufacturer's product warranty. Um, so that's you know a little bit kind of you know debatable what that actually means. Right. But 10 years to 25 years, depending on your manufacturer, as Patrick said, you're gonna know if you got a lemon, you know, within the first year. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a, a moot point, I would say. Still, you know, still a nice security to have. Yeah, you should be checking pretty regularly your monitoring in yep. that first year. Absolutely. Uh, if you have something defective, if something wasn't hooked up correctly, if they're all hooked up incorrectly, if they yep. all have damage, you know, there's, those. that's the years that you should monitor. Make sure it was installed correctly. Right. Exactly. Right. Yep. And then, of course, you know, the manufacturer's performance guarantee or performance warranty, kind of used interchangeably there, that's relating to the degradation, your homeowner's insurance, check with your homeowner's insurance because they, they could vary uh, from policy to policy. And then what's this little guy at the end, this uh, pick my solar production guarantee? What is ours all about? Well, it's like what we just talked about. You know, we're pretty confident in our production. We get out there on the site, we confirm our production. Uh, you know, if it's not within a certain delta, we're actually going to present you a new contract and make sure yep. you're still okay with those results. And we're confident in that two and maybe sometimes even three step vetting process uh, that we're willing to guarantee that production for a year. Not Ninety-five percent. Ninety-five percent. Yeah. So it's, yep. we're 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 pretty confident in in, in what we do. Um, and yeah, just it's one year. So that, that's, it's, you would have to kind of sort it out after the fact, but. Um, we're ensuring yeah. that it's installed correctly yeah. and, and designed up to. Up yeah, to that's, that's where we're taking our, taking our pride at. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So pick my solar. If you don't know about us already, you know, we are an online solar marketplace. We will find you, you know, the best solar option for your specific house. Come to us. We're going to do an independent design and analysis. And then we have a local network uh, in your area. They're all going to bid on your project and we will give you the best deal possible. We sure will. I guess we could talk about the referral program, but they can see it right there. Awesome. Yeah, refer your friends. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy the weekend, and we will see you next week.